Welcome to the Pedisco video tutorial on the Sales Command Center in your MYOB software. This tutorial supports our MYOB software practice sets written for students studying computerized accounting systems. Our online virtual tutor sets include automatic grading, ongoing feedback, and algorithmic values to ensure each student has a unique practice set. Just like this free video tutorial, we also offer some practice sets for free. For more information, more videos like this, and detailed instructions on using MYOB software, visit pedisco.com.au forward slash MYOB. In this tutorial, we will cover an overview of the Sales Command Center, and then focus on just one task, recording a credit sale transaction into your MYOB software. You will find this tutorial useful when recording customer-related transactions and events. For a more comprehensive treatment of this command centre, explore our MYOB Learning Centre at pedisco.com.au forward slash MYOB Learning. Let's begin by opening the Sales Command Centre and exploring the flowchart section to discover where to enter the main transaction types that occur throughout the sales cycle. To help us in this task, let's meet Chris. Chris has a business that sells boxes of the good stuff. Chris has a friend Joe, who is interested in getting some of the good stuff. Chris is ready to sell some boxes of the good stuff to Joe, because Chris has already set up a customer card for Joe. Let's suppose that Joe places a sales order with Chris. This can be recorded by selecting Enter Sales in the Sales Command Center and selecting Order from the drop-down box in the Sales New Item window. Then, enter the details of the sales order and click Record. When Chris is ready to deliver the boxes of the good stuff to Joe, Chris can convert the sales order to a sales invoice by opening the sales register, selecting the orders tab, selecting the sales order from Joe, clicking the change to invoice icon, checking the details in the invoice, especially the date, and clicking record. Chris can then print the invoice and deliver the invoice and the goods to Joe. But what happens if Joe returns one box of the good stuff to Chris? Through the Enter Sales icon, Chris creates a credit note by creating an invoice with a negative amount in the Ship column. Then, Chris applies this credit note to an open invoice that Joe has not paid by opening the sales register selecting the Returns and Credits tab, highlighting the credit note, and selecting the Apply to Sale icon. Here, the credit note can be applied to an appropriate open invoice. When Joe finally pays Chris for the boxes of the good stuff, Chris needs to record the receipt of cash. This is done using the Receive Payments icon. Next, Chris needs to take the cash and deposit it into the bank. This is recorded in the Banking Command Center, so we won't be covering that step in this tutorial. However, you can find details of how to prepare a bank deposit in your MYOB software in Pedisco's Learning Center at pedisco.com.au forward slash MYOB learning. Now that we have an overview of the main tasks available in the Sales Command Center, let's focus on one specific task, recording a credit sale. If you are completing our software practice set, one recurring transaction type is the sale of inventory on credit. We will now show you how to record this transaction type into your MYOB software using the sample company Clearwater Proprietary Limited. In your MYOB software, ensure that you're in the Sales Command Center. Then, click the Enter Sales icon to open up the Sales New Item window where the credit sale is entered. If Invoice is not already displayed in the top left-hand corner, 
click the arrow and change the field to Invoice. You can use the search icon to open the Select From List window, where you can select the customer to which the sales relates to. Notice that your MYOB software automatically populates certain fields of the invoice, such as the credit terms, ship to, invoice number, and date fields. You can choose to accept this information or change them as required. You can enter the customer's purchase order number if known, and the quantity of items sold to the customer. Next, you need to select the item of inventory sold to the customer in the item number column. If you know the item number, you can just type it into this cell. However, if you don't remember the item number, just click in the item number cell, and then press the tab key on your keyboard, this opens up the Select From List window, where you can scroll through the list of inventory items and select the item to be sold. As you enter each item, your MYOB software automatically enters the price of the item and calculates the total cost for that number of items, as well as the invoice total. You can add additional types of inventory by entering the quantity and type of inventory on a new row. Once you've entered all inventory items, the final step is to save the invoice by clicking the record button. This will journalise and post the sale to the applicable accounts. So that is how to enter a credit sale into your MYOB software. Visit Pedisco's Learning Centre at pedisco.com.au forward slash MYOB learning for more detailed information on this and other tasks found in the Sales Command Centre. We've now come to the end of our tutorial on the Sales Command Centre. You will find that we have covered an overview of the Sales Command Centre and the process of recording a credit sale transaction into your MYOB software. Now it's up to you. If you're doing our software practice set, good luck with your assignment.